What's going on guys? Junior's Fishing Company with another deer hair jig. VMC, quarter ounce, just standard lead head jig. This was painted, so I, you have to dip it in white first. I learned that on my first ever paint dip. You dip it in white, and then this is like a, I think like a pumpkin brown or something like that. I can put the exact color below. It's just a do it mold, little one ounce. You can get them at Cabela's or Bass Pro or some local bait shops might have them in your area. I don't know. But it's dipped and then I dipped it at like three or four times in water-based head cement to give it some gloss but also durability. If you're fishing on rocks and stuff, that'll at least extend the life of your jig a little bit without it being just a lead head jig. Black 210 Today I'm gonna do like a brown and kind of like a, it's like an amber blonde deer hair uh, tail. Look at right here. Nice brown tail and then kind of like a golden amber almost. It's a pretty decent tail, but I think these two colors, now you gotta be careful. If you put a ton of that bright in, you can see how much more it stands out. So I usually have it, I'll have it be brighter in the back and then a lot more brown up front. That's just how I'm doing this one. I'm not gonna have any Arctic goat or anything. So I have a really long, this is gonna be a really long bucktail clump that I'm gonna put in here. And it's super thin. So you could do Arctic goat, I've got some like brownish arctic goat but I kinda wanted to mix things up a little bit so you can see this still goes to about my five inch I don't want it quite at maybe five inches I want it just a little bit shorter than that but this is super long hair this is really long hair I'm actually gonna put I'm only doing three stacks of hair on this whole jig so I'm gonna put a little space between them and then I've got actually some cranberry Again, a funny name. I've got some Cranberry Holographic Flashaboo that I'm going to put down. It's a little bit of, it's like a really dark red. I just got it the other day and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I thought I would put it on this one and see how it looks. It's basically a dark red. I mean, Cranberry is just a name that they gave it. I would just say it's a dark red. So I'm gonna get this down, and this this hair has a ton of flare in it, so I gotta be kinda of careful with, and that should be plenty. So you got a couple hairs, but that's all right. So again, this is really long and really thin. I'm gonna put my second stack in, and I'm separating these by quite a bit. But this one, I mean, this is an example of using really good deer hair on a smaller jig, I'm going to end up cutting by the time I get here at like half of my hair, which hurts a little bit, but I don't have nine different brown tails, so you kind of, it's kind of the beggars can't be choosers mentality. So I'm going to put this not quite more than halfway. I want a lot of tail in this. I want a lot of thin tail in this. So again, I'm going to cut probably, that's at least an inch, off of that hair. I'm going to cord up my thread. I'll come just a little bit past that bump. Then I can get that down. It wants to spin on you. Get that spun around and you can see how much that lighter deer hair color stands out. There's more brown in these stacks, but the darker color isn't, unless it's like white and black, but that darker color isn't gonna stand out as much as that light color. So you gotta be intentional with how much of each you're putting in then I'll get that cinched down really well. And then this is where I'm gonna put my flash. Then I'll have just enough room, you can see, 
at my jig head for my last stack. I'm going to put my flash right about in the middle of this. So again, I've got this cranberry. I don't know if you can see in the, uh, the camera, but sometimes it comes curled like this. It's always a little bit tough, but so I'll put that in, not a ton, but it's quite a bit. Get that right on top, just spread it out. A couple securing wraps. Trim it up, flip it. I really like this color though. The brown and the blonde. I'll have to look. I think the lighter one, it might be a musky fool tail. So I'll be able, if you go to their website, they have pictures of each color. The brown, I think I just ordered from Shields or something. So brown is brown. Brown is easy to tell what it is. Get all of this extra trimmed off, and I'm not going to fold it back or anything because that's plenty of flash. Then I have just enough room up here on my head to get that last stack of hair down. So, again, this is a bit of a thinner third stack than I normally do but I know that there's going to be a ton of flare in this so that's kind of how I'm going to get a little bit more body out of this. I'm going to take some of those really long ones out and I'm going to put it about right here so again I'm taking off a nice chunk of this hair I'm going to come as far up as I can, cord up my thread, I'm going to come up as far as I can, get that wrapped, and pull down towards my jig head. You can see how much flare there is. This is going to be really tricky to trim. Some tails have a ton of flare, and some have none. And these tails had about as much as it can have. Basically like spinning a bass bug or a popper or whatever. So I'm going to get that spun around evenly, as evenly as I can get it. I'm going to kind of just make sure there's some shorter hairs in here. Now that it, I've still got light wraps on there, and so I'm just going to pull out some of these smaller, they're more of a nuisance than anything. And then I'm going to try and get some tight wraps on here without flaring this too much. work up towards my head you can see how much flare is in there and then I'm gonna end up trimming this I just don't want to work far too back too far back so I'm gonna get this trimmed up with my razor blade and we'll see if I don't cut my thread I probably will Thank you.
brown, blonde, quarter ounce, VMC, brown pumpkin, cranberry flash, deer hair jig. The fun thing about deer hair is there's so many different colors that you can really, I mean, I feel like I'm uploading all these deer hair jigs, but at least, you know, you try to make all of them a little bit different and it's endless with how many different jigs there are, how many colors, how many flashes, the length, the thickness. Uh, it's a lot of fun to, to really mess around with all the different combinations. Like, subscribe, check out the uh, community page. Oh, I'm trying to put some different polls and pictures up there and stuff like that. Junior's Fishing Company. JuniorsFishing.com See you in the next one.